Or do you think that Dame may want to get up out of Portland? Either way. Um, from all the intents and purposes, uh, I believe that Damian Lillard wants to play alongside a fellow All-Star. Um, so I, I think it just depends on what all they're lo- looking to do to, you know, help him. I think there's – I think Damian Lillard's situation in Portland is so very similar uh, to LeBron's first stint in Cleveland where nobody wanted to go to Cleveland. Um, I've never been to Portland, but I've been to Cleveland before. I had fun in Cleveland, but I also had fun in Cleveland because it was set LeBron's second go round. Um, and you know, that was the Kyrie Irving, uh, Kevin Love, LeBron James era, and it was stuff to do. Um, uh, Cleveland, I had fun, I had a lot of fun, but Portland to me is not that same draw. Um, so you'd have to find a way to get a Ben Simmons there to get him to stay. Um, if he doesn't, if he forces a trade, because he's got some years left on his contract. Like, that's the thing that people uh, don't consider. Um, Portland does not have to trade Damian Lillard. Yeah, at all. I think he has three years left on, on, on his deal. Right. So, like, they don't have to trade him. And um, they could hold on to him and make his life miserable if they wanted to. Um, but I also think that I don't see that happen because I think he's done so much uh, as a key cog uh, for Portland. So um, if he's moved, to me, the Boston Celtics make the most sense, more so than the Knicks. The Knicks would have to give up a lot. And I feel like you've done so much to bring winning culture back to this organization. Why go through that again? So, I said the same thing yesterday. You have to give up too much to get him, and then you'd be right back to square one. Because the guys that, that you don't have to give up to that run. Remember that show, Square One on Public Access? Square One. <laughs> da, yeah. da, 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 da. Right back, right back to square one. So it wouldn't even make sense. Is there any, is there a slim hope of a chance that Dame could end up with the Lakers? I don't see it. And I think that people, um, People assume that based upon where Daniel Lillard was in L.A. Um, I think that the Lakers don't have enough to entice Portland. I mean, the thing I feel like um, the two assets that the, that the Lakers have this offseason um, that are that will be attractive to some teams, some is Kyle Kuzma's contract and Taylor and Horton Tucker. Yes. But that's not um, enough for Dame, though. That's by far. Mm-hmm. Not, at all. Not at all. And I feel like that's where you start looking at Russell Westbrook and the Washington Wizards. Yep. Which again, that, I, I, I'm okay with because I like Westbrook. I'm a fan of Westbrook. So I'd be yeah, okay. Yeah. So I, I think, you know, I think that's that's who they're going after. Um, and I think that if not, I feel like Russell Westbrook is is one, and I think I think Kyle Lowry's one A. Um I, I, I like think, Westbrook, but I'm sorry. All due respect to Kyle Lowry, I would take Russell Westbrook over Kyle Lowry. I'm sorry. But you got to get him. Yeah, so well, yes. Yeah, liking, liking and getting are two different things. You may like the baddest chick in the club, but that doesn't mean you're going to get her. That's, that is that is true. But you now, might be getting the Usher's number at the bathroom. Do the Lakers have enough to get Westbrook? Um, I think that looking at Washington and looking at um, – their coaching situation, uh, whether they're going to go with Wes Until Jr. or Sam Cassell or someone else. I feel like Russell Westbrook is going to want to have a proclivity to be somewhere where he can win and where he can be comfortable. Uh, he being LeBron's teammate makes sense. And then with all the discussion about Scotty Brooks um, potentially becoming an assistant coach with the Lakers, mm. Scotty Brooks and, and Russell Westbrook have that relationship. So, um, I, I, and I don't think it's, I don't think that if he, if Scotty Brooks were hired, that is the coincidence. Like, I don't feel like they're bringing him in just to lure Russell Westbrook. Like, I think it's just a good coaching hire. Yeah. Um, but it, it doesn't hurt that. Exactly. I think those are mutually exclusive. I, I just want to say that because I think oftentimes people say, oh, well, because he's a coach and you could you could people were saying the same thing about Jason Kidd when Jason Kidd came to the Lakers as an assistant and people thought Giannis was going to go there. Like it was like, well, yeah, no, he's dead. So 
That's not always the case. I believe that in this case, if the Lakers are able to get him, it's because um, they're able to make the right move. Taylor Horton Tucker and Kyle Kuzma make sense. Contavious Caldwell Pope. Doesn't mean that, so you can who, who any listen anybody outside of LeBron James and Anthony Davis if you want to throw them in here I'm okay with that right so that that's why I think this all season like Kyle Lowry could walk um, I think that to, to he should he should try to help the Raptors if if, if to potentially commence some sort of sign trade just like LeBron when he left Cleveland he did it was a sign and trade yeah. it was, he left Cleveland in, in 2010. Which that sign of trade actually ended up helping Cleveland anyway because those picks were used to get Tristan Thompson and uh, Kyrie Irving in 2011. So, you know, they still burned his jersey though. So, you know, they didn't didn't know how much he helped them even on the way out. But, you know, that's that's neither here nor there. You know how that go. Yeah, people got, you know, sometimes these fans out here be doing the most. Smush Parker here, formerly up to the Los Angeles Lakers. And you are now tuned in to Real Fans, Real Talk. Uh-huh. This is Real Fans, Real Talk. Real Fans, Real Talk. We as real as you thought. Uh-huh.